Huge big reveals coming up on Saturday night. I hope you're ready. You guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Ooh, what in the world do we have today? We have one of the former pink regional dive boxes. All you gotta do is tell me what Yu-Gi-Oh related thing are you hoping to get this holiday? Actually, what trading card game? Are you trying to get something for this holiday season? And of course, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys um, think you want to see. And of course, previous winner will be down below. Make sure you guys like the video as well. It really helps out the algorithm. I hope you guys have been enjoying the little goodies and stuff. So, first, Movement Solo. Yeah, um, this is actually beautiful. See, the New Challengers uh, Special Edition. About three dollars. I mean, like, it's not all that surprising, right? You know, you've got people out here that genuinely are excited for this, um, but I mean, a little bit more expensive than I, I personally would want to spend money on. The 2015 10 version does not exist. It got cratered, and then the new Challengers Super Rare is at ten dollars. Um, you know, I'm really happy to see that Melodious got support. But to see that the market is doing this with the cards, yeah, no. Um, also, the rest of the Melodia stuff, I mean, we, besides, like, you know, everything's a little rarity besides, you know, the first movement solo. And you've got a lot of Shatterfoils available to you. I mean, like, okay, so yeah, Mozarta kind of up there, Aria up there. Oh boy, you know, uh, the Maestra here, uh, kind of cheap. I mean, like, you get down into the rest of this stuff, the stuff is cheap for days. I uh, like, you have nothing that you really need to worry about. Oh, look, another Shatterfoil for 89 cents. You know, it, you've got plenty of stuff back here that I guess to really consider, even if you jump back here to the last page. Like, okay, I'm pretty sure that Bloom Diva was the um, only one. Oh, no, it wasn't Bloom Diva. It's the one from Dual Overload that ended up being the one worth a little bit at this point. We've, yeah, right here, the Bloom Harmonist. And it's got 116 listings. It's not going anywhere. Like, unfortunately, right now, First Movement Solo plus the rest of the core is probably the most expensive stuff that you're going to have to pick up. Uh, ancient Gear stuff. So this is anticipation for the weekend. We do know that um, Crawler's voice actor is going to be present, which means to everybody out here, it's like, I don't know if I want to pick up Ancient Gear cards. Well, you know, I Ancient Gear Golem Greens are $12. It's actually by far probably the coolest one. The Fortress also at $9. Okay. Um, the only thing I would really consider worth it, I mean, a Ballista's probably going to get a reprint. It's very long overdue for one. To be honest with you, we have Ancient Gear Fusion coming in at a nice two dollars. Like realistically, Ancient Gear Fusion is probably the thing to keep an eye on. Yeah, even like the Seeker Airs are a nice two dollars. So, for people who are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. You know, we, we didn't have a heads up. Yeah, you did. All right, it, this is one of those risk it for the biscuit type things. You know, you pick up a play set and you know you see what ends up happening. Look at what happened to the Melodious stuff with first movement solo. All right, if you think that. What's happening over there is not going to happen to something in the ancient gear department. It probably is. It, it's the same trend over and over again. Uh, Magician Souls. Now, I, I just want to preface this here. We have a decent amount of quantities on the Seeker Airs. 32. It's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, they're there. You take a look at some of these Ultras, uh, 42 listings. 31 listings. Now down here's where we get into the, the danger zone. The red letters have 25 listings and the blueberries only have 5 listings right now. Um, I don't like that. That's, um, that's not good in terms of numbers. Especially if these are rocketing up the way that they are right now. Um, it's not like Magician Soul's has crazy utility options at the moment. It's just, you know, honestly, I, I do prefer the colored letters versus the, the regular ultra rarity, but that's just my, my personal take on this. So you are seeing buyouts happening across the board on both of these. So I, I honestly hope that you're prepared for this. 
Um, Noble Arms Museum. Up, up, up we go again. You know, I've... I swear we've had the three listings on this for quite some time, and then you blink and you come back and suddenly you're at two listings. Actually, even like the ultras are starting to creep up to the, the five, six dollar point at this moment. So do with this what you will. We always do tend to see more of the higher rarity stuff creep on up. It, it's just, it, it happens. Phantasmes from the tens, 14 listings, oh shit. Huh. Man, I bet you're looking at those disgusting gold rares now going, yeah, this is worth it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, these are $10. I, uh, man, talk about your, your old 10 value that you didn't think would be worth something that suddenly has skyrocketed up in value. Good stuff, man. Like, I, I guess. Uh, once again, I mean, considering the format has gone so link heavy with this, like, it, it definitely has its place. Really? We're down to 11 listings? What are we doing here, everybody? What's what's going on here? Why? What's up, Alancia? All right, like 13, 11, 11. Uh, your lowest listings as of right now are a nice 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, over 15, over 15, 16, 16. Huh. You know, um, hate to tell you this, but uh, it looks like the cards are continuing on up in the old value train. Um, you're going to continue to see quarter century cards getting wiped off the market for probably a remainder of this set's life. All right, especially you know when people saw cheap availability. Oh, 100% they're going to snap call that. All right, no reason not to. All right. Oh, so uh, Fenriers are down to 30 listings. We're at forty dollars. That's that's acceptable. Uh, the secret rares, on the other hand, are down. If twenty three, uh, thirty nine listings at twenty three, yeah, twenty three, twenty four dollars a piece here. But um, that graph, that graph is moving. Uh, if you're looking at Fenrir right now and you're like, I don't know, the only thing that puts me on the edge about Fenrir is the little thing called the ban list. At this point, um, that could very much send Fenrir back to the Stone Ages, especially if they decide to limit it to one, and Konami just goes, yeah, that's a wrap, folks. You know, we, we called it a day. Heat of Starlights. Huh. You know, I... You've had two move in the last couple of days. You can get a German copy here for uh, 250, 262, 263, 270. Uh, we talked about last week how the Super was already on the move. We are seeing an uptick across the board on these things. This is nothing really new right now. It, it is happening, and it's going to continue to happen. So, heads up, as you probably should have known, eventually people are going to start coming after the higher rarities. Also, Runic Slumber from the Tins as an ultra rare is at three dollars right now huh you know it is kind of nice to you know have the upgrades but uh huh the tins are such a bad product well you know as less and less people want to open them we see more and more of these things start to go up in price yay who would have guessed dia bell stars huh 17 listings it feels kind of low 28 listings well that's that's definitely low it looks like, right now, 28, 27, 22, 28, 29, yeah, they are uh, up, 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 and away they go. Did this finally, did, did the original Snake Eyes finally calm down in price? Because, like, this card should have never have been the $15 price tag it is. I see, eh, you've got um, low listings. And then, yeah, these do push back up. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, Wanted's. 230. Ugh. On up. Still sitting at 100. Nothing's changed. Yeah, 97, 98. Yep. Not surprised. And Mediel Seeker Rares. I don't know if you've been paying attention to these. 15, 8. Uh, Unlim's still doing their thing, but this is one of those cards you look at the first and go, okay. Yeah, first dead light plays about 25 bucks. Eh, that's within the realm of expectations. So what do you guys think about everything that's happening right now? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I must say, what a great day. Patrons, thank you.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.